Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer x, y, and n as the input and print the nth decimal place right to the decimal point. So first we are going to accept the integer x, y, n and print the nth decimal place right to the decimal point. Now we will take our first test case. So here x value is 22, y value is 7 and n value is 12. So now x divided by y that is 22 divided by 7 gives you 3.142857142857142857 and it goes on. So after this we are going to multiply x divided by y with 10 power n. So here n is 12 so we will multiply it by 10 power 12 which gives us the digits up to this so after that we will have 142857 so after multiplying by 10 power 12 we get this and then will convert it to integer so when it becomes integer we will get only this that is 3142857142857 and then to get the unit digit we will do mod 10 so and we will get 7 as our output So now we have got 7 as the output by doing mod 10 operation. So now we will take our another test case. So here x value is 4, y value is 2 and n value is 1. So x by y that is 4 by 2 is 2.0 and x by y into 10 power here n is 1 so it is 10 power 1 so 2.0 into 10 power 1 is 20.0 when we convert it to int it becomes 20 and when we do mod 10 operation we will get 0 as the output Now let us implement our program. First we will get the integer x and y. And then we will get the integer n. And after that we should find x divided by y. And then multiply it with 10 power n. So for this we have a variable called as result which stores the value of x divided by y and then it should be multiplied with 10 power n so x divided by y into 10 double asterisk which represents power of n and we will convert it to int so We'll convert it here itself 
and then we'll print the unity chip that is mod 10 so print the result mod 10 so instead of printing in the next line we can do it in the same line that is print of this result by mod 10 so now let us run our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.